Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had an amazing Christmas and New Year. So in the last episode we got a fractured staff of Armadil. So now this is what my goal is. These are the four things I need, right? So the Grimoire gives a 12% crit chance. The Calgarian Demon gives a 5% crit chance with the spec. The Reaver's Ring gives a 5% crit chance. And the Biting Perk at level 20 gives an 8.8%. .8%. So in total, that gives over 30% crit chance if I have all of that. So yeah, the goal is to get all of this. This is what we currently have. All we need to get is the Reaver's Ring. So, yep, enjoy the video. So the heart of the Berserker is what I need, and you can kill any of the three Rex Matrix to get it. So along with that, I need 10 Berserker Rings. And I checked my bank and I haven't got any. So, back in the day, I did have about 10 Berserker Rings, but I dropped them all because they used to be useless. Because you can see I've killed like nearly 3,000, because I did that when I was going for the pets. And I got all three pets in le in like 3000 KC, right? This was before the logs were a thing, so none of it is tracked, obviously. But yeah, I had like fucking 10 of each ring. I had dragon hatchets. I had about 25 dragon hatchets, but I just like... I got rid of them. I just dropped them all because they were a waste of bank space. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass, but... Man, if I, if I knew, obviously, they would update the new rings. That you need 10 of the other ones, then of course I wouldn't have dropped them, but... Yeah. Oh my fucking god, that was easy. Oh, it's the wrong one. Okay, I got a Heart of the Warrior. That's fucking, that's really nice, honestly. Not the one that I need. I I need the Berserker one. But honestly, that's really nice. Oh my fucking god, my luck at this. Jesus Christ, really? What even is that? I, don't, I literally don't know what that is. Alright, it's dirt cheap, so I'm guessing it's nothing good. Honestly? I don't understand. I literally don't understand. What the fu- Are these drop rates really low, or am I getting really lucky? Still dragons? Nope. That's all, maybe one. Oh, there we go, that's good. As I well just pick dinosaurs in. It's just free damage and free Slayer XP for what I'm gonna do anyway, so yeah. Oh. That was unexpected. The oh, fuck, I was just about to AFK again. Ah, oh, fair enough. There's uh 120 defense, I guess. Yeah man, this this shit is so AFK. It's another one. God damn it. God damn it. Ay ay ay. That is not what I'm looking for. Shit is so expensive though. That's like nearly 40 mil and I've got two of them already. They're so common. Well, right. I don't know if they're common, but it seems like it's common, right? <laughs> okay. Um. Yep. That is another drop. There's uh, another dinosaur task complete. Beautiful. We'll grab a new one quickly and then we'll come back. And we are done. Ah, oh, that took longer than expected. Jesus Christ. I'm just going to finish. I've got 15 minutes left on my aura, so I'm just going to stay here and finish it, but... Yeah, that's the one that I need. I don't need anything else. I don't care about the Archer one or the Channeler one. Oh, 
I've been here for like the past fucking seven, eight hours. For this one drop, and I get two, like, in two kills. Okay, yeah, it's uh, it's time to go DKs now. So I need to do a few things before I go DKs. Apparently, when I buy it, it's a Mask of the Dagonoth. When you kill a thousand Dagonoths while wearing it, it turns into Helm of the Dagonoth. And when it turns into a Helm after 1,000 kills, I think only then you get a chance to get double drops. But I'm still going to buy it anyway. I'm not sure if it's going to be worth it. But yeah, we're going to buy that and we're going to wear it at DKs. And after 1,000 kills, if I still haven't got all 10 Berserker Rings, then, you know, I can just, I've got the increased chance. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to this grind at all. Oh yeah, that's over a thousand kills by the way now. I did that in one day by the way. Uh, check kills, 1083. That'll do for now, I'm fucking bored of this shit. Genuinely, I've been, I've been doing DKs for the past like... Five hours, five and a half hours, I'm, I'm really bored. But yeah, yeah, the fact, you can get 200 kills per hour, which is pretty decent, honestly, but... Yeah man, it's just, it's too much. When I got locked out, these weapons had their perks removed. Because if you remember, I was camping uh, Greg, right? And my gizmo got destroyed because I had these I had these fully perked up. And I also had my wyvern crossbow fully perked up, right? On my wyvern crossbow, that was my uh, corroding switch. And there's nothing on it. So yeah, when they locked me out, all of my gizmos got removed from my weapons. A quick update. Since I started, this isn't my total DK's kill. I have like a lot more than this, but I have killed... 3,500 and my total KC is probably like nearly 7 yeah 6,449 if you ever did want to go for like uh, all 40 rings like I did I'd, I'd kind of definitely recommend like a setup similar to mine because I had like such a sick rotation obviously I spent many many hours here and I pretty much like perfected my rotations it was like it's, it's kind of weird but like for the melee, uh, for the ranger, sorry, it's just like a standard, uh, standard mutated barge rotation with assault, basics, all that shit. Try and keep like high adren towards the end, and then for the major, it's just like a standard uh, tendrils because majority of the time I was using penance for like the prayer points. So yeah, I'd go like tendrils to get my prayer points back into a serum god bow, and he's pretty much dead. And then for the melee, it was literally just like Balm, Combust, and then Omni Power. And genuinely, he just he dies instantly. It was insane. And yeah, using this rotation, I was getting like, honestly, on average, about 240 kills an hour of DKs, which was fucking sick. Although, to be fair, I, I, if I was you, I'd probably just buy the rings, honestly. This, this grind was not fun at all. I think... I'm gonna call that finished for Dragon of Kings. I haven't quite finished yet, but I'm two warrior rings away from finishing all of the rings, right? That's all I need. All I need is two warrior rings. So currently we have 11 archer rings, so I'm one over. They're mad expensive, by the way. They're like nearly 16 mil each. That's disgusting. And I also have 10 Sears rings, which is really good. They're also quite expensive, they're 11 and a half mil each. So Berserk Rings are also finished, I have 14 of them. But they're quite cheap actually, like 5.7 each. And then the Warrior Rings, unfortunately we only have 8. So I need 2 more Warrior Rings before I can make the... Uh, the Heart of the Warrior one. I really don't want to stack up any more of the other rings, because it's just a waste of bank space. Every now and again I will AFK Rex to see if I can get an extra 2 Warrior Rings, but yeah, for now it's, it's fine. For now is grab 10 Berserker Rings. And my Heart of the Berserker. And we're just going to make this one real quick. Yeah, we're going to make this. Here we go. Reaver's Ring is done. Very nice. Uh, I'm now going to go back to uh, Rake's Matriarchs, right? Uh, because I still need all of the other hearts. So I have the Heart of the Warrior. But I still need a heart for all of these. And I still need a heart for all of these. So yeah, we're going to go back. And we're going to kill the Ranger and the Major to get both of the hearts. Oh yeah, just in case you're wondering how long it took, by the way, I have my um, Mask of the Dagonoth, Mask of the Dagonoth, which I bought just before I started this uh, DK's grind. And in that time, it took me 
4,317 kills, but then I still have two warrior rings to get, which could potentially take another like 300 wrecks. So, yeah. But my total DK's KC is 7,198. But yeah, we also got like 30 plus dragon hatchets. We got 14 mud battle staffs, 8 circles, and yeah, shitload of rings. If you're ever wondering what pocket slot item to bring to Rex Matriarch, I'd definitely say the Scripture of Jazz is disgusting, honestly. It's so good here. So I'm just going to show you a clip where my book hit like 25k plus. But I did have an another clip. I don't know where I put it. It hit like 27.5k. And it was insane, honestly. Like the book is so good. Especially in like Zerk rotations. I do use the Scripture of Jazz a lot, but I've never seen it hit this much. There's a drop. <laughs> okay, there we go. That is another Zuck done. So yeah, we uh basically I, I did another Zuck because I want the melee cape. So yeah, that's not too bad. Uh We've got some clip scrolls, nice. So yep, it's time to make the melee cape now. So, uh, craft igneous calcate. Can't wait to use that, honestly. But yeah, we just need one more, we just need the range cape. But obviously I'm not going to go for the cape in normal mode. When I go for the range cape, it's going to be in hard mode. Just so I can finish the hard mode kill, then I can get the ability to craft all three at once. And that way I can just like combine the range cape, mage cape and melee cape all at once into one cape. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Nice. Finally, man, I haven't had a drop here in so long. Oh my god, yes, we're done. Okay, let's leave, let's go. I'm not staying here any longer. Actually, yes, I am. I'm going to go kill this one now because obviously I still need the uh, the mage one. Okay, so now we're just going to instantly use it. So let's grab out uh, 10 archer rings. And yep, let's make this. Uh, I'm not too sure what this ring does. I think it doesn't really... I'm not sure. Let me have a look. Uh... 3% critical strike chance when wielding a bow. Not what I'm looking for, but you know what, I'll take it. Ah, oh, fuck me. God damn it. Yeah, that's not good. For the Heart of the Seer, and unfortunately we just got another Heart of the Berserker. Oh yes, there we fucking go. Oh my god, yes, so we are done. Hey, that's everything now. That is the heart of the seer. That is the last one we needed. So now we have all four rings. Let me check my case here as well. We ended up killing 674. Yeah, so I think uh, the last one that I got was the heart of the archer. And that was probably at 400, so yeah, it took nearly 300 kills to get the uh, Heart of the Seer. Oh, that was so long. My god, I'm, I'm so happy to leave this place now. And let me just look at my log. Pretty much got everything now apart from... I got everything apart from this last Savage Plume, whatever the fuck that even is. I'm not sure what that is. I'm guessing it's like Mad Rare, I'm not sure. All of the hearts now, Heart of the Berserker, Warrior, Archer and Seer. And the only thing I'm missing is the uh, three pets. So I don't really care about them, honestly. Maybe 
Maybe I'll go for them, but yeah. We are done. I'm leaving. Let's go ahead and make the uh, last one that I need. So, yep, Channeler's Ring. So we have 10 Seer's Rings and the Heart of the Seer. So, yep, let's go ahead and make that last one. And that is it. So, yeah, if we look, we now have... Um, we now have the Reaver's Ring, the uh, Stalker's Ring, and the Channeler's Ring. So the only one I'm missing Warrior one, right? So if we look, I have two Heart of the Warriors and nine Warrior Rings. Uh, just Rex, to be fair. I was just AFK and Rex because I really wanted to finish my ring set because, yeah. Stalker Ring, Channeler's Ring, Reaver's Ring, and now we are done. My last Warrior Ring, sorry. So that is ten Warrior Rings. And Heart of the Warrior. So let's go ahead and make the Champion's Ring. And we are officially done now. Oh my god, that was a long grind. That was a really long grind. But yeah, anyway, we are done. Look at that. I now have all four rings. Champion's Ring, Reaver's Ring, Channeler's Ring, and Stalker's Ring. I'm so happy. I did 200 Quintessence. That was the one. But yeah, now we can hand this in. And that's now going to give me a new relic, which is really fucking good. So after using an ultimate ability, you will regain 10% adrenaline. Obviously that stacks with the Ring of Vigor. I think Berserk's Fury. I'll probably take this one off, just because this is, this is only really useful when you're low HP, obviously. And honestly, I'm never really like, low life points when I'm bossing. Like, currently I'm camping Arch Glacial, right? I'm just like doing a lot of kills, but... I soul split a lot and I'm pretty much max life points constantly, so we're now going to do that. Um, we are 650 out of 650. So Fury of the Small, Conservation of Energy, and Death Ward. That's a really good combo, honestly. Uh, so that's pretty much it for my maximum crit bonus, by the way. So yeah, that's everything I need. Your crit bonus comes from uh, your Calgarian Demon. So let's pretend this is a Calgarian Demon, because I haven't got any currently. But yeah, they're very easy to get. So Calgarian Demon is one of them. Grimoire is another one, so we got a Grimoire. Uh, Reaver's Ring is another one, and then obviously your armor with the uh, Biting perk. And yeah, we got Biting 4, so um, that's, uh, that's like maximum crit bonus I can get. And we have it now, so that means I now need to go get uh, my Armadil Battle Staff from Glacials. And then we can start actually using my Fractal Staff of Armadil properly. By the end of that, we killed close to 5,000 DKs. Along with like nearly 700 Rex Matriarchs. And I was camping both of those bosses so much. I didn't do anything else about those two bosses. Yeah man, those four rings, they were a pain to get honestly. I'm happy to say that I never have to do that again. And I'm happy to say that now I've got maximum crit bonus. Which means all I need is an Armadil Battle Staff in my uh, Essence of Finality. And then we can really start using uh, the spec properly. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one.